Hey, I'm Derek Dietrichson from Tiny Yellow House and RelaxShacks.com, author of Humble Home Simple Shacks. And this time around, I'll give you a tour of the $200 micro vacation cabin, something I call the Little Blue Bump. We'll give you a tour right around the corner, I promise. I'm coming, I'm coming to get you! So here we are inside the uh, the little blue bump, which is more or less a 200 to 250 dollar micro vacation cabin and or shelter uh, vacation camp, whatever the heck you want to call it. I'll leave that up to you. By the way, I'm messing with the new lens for my flip camera. It's kind of widening the lens. Every once in a while, I'm gonna go like this to give you the 3D uh, surrealistic Salvador Dali effect. Uh, so bear with me. But this cabin here is so simple to build. It's one of two structures we built in my RelaxShacks.com workshop, uh, which we hosted back in July, which was sold out. We had about 20, uh, 22 students. We will have more. But this was just something for people to get their feet wet in terms of, uh, you know, wielding some hammers, uh, you know, sawing some wood, nailing some boards together, and whatnot. It's a simple structure that you can build in no time at all for very little money out in the woods. Now basically, as I get real comfortable here while touring, um, this is another one of those structures that could be a greenhouse, chicken coop, goat house, who knows what, um, a storage shed on the uber cheap. Thing is, building inspector comes by, sir, what do you have here? I swear, sir, it's just a, just a fort, kid's fort. You're probably not going to get busted for something like this. It's four by eight feet. As for what went into it, tough decks, corrugated roofing, uh, a couple things I'd like to point out. We have windows here that, you know, as per many of the designs in my book, Humble Home Simple Shacks, once again, which is all crazified, R. Crumb style, Al Jaffe, Mad Magazine, Where's Waldo, who knows what, sketches. Um, a lot of windows made out of curbside trash. One made out of the top of a pasta pot, that being a glass top. We have another one, which, say, uh, which is made from a cut water jug, like one of those office cooler water jugs, which works so well. You can use it as storage as well because it protrudes on the outside, extends beyond the walls, giving you more storage and, and quote-unquote living space. Uh, another one's just a sash from a window I found on the side of the road. Built a frame around it and popped that outward from the wall of the structure as well. So again, I've gained a shelf by doing so where I have these colored bottles here just for uh, just to purify things up to get all deliverance-like on you, uh, ebonically speaking. Behind me, this was a window where that owl was, but Hurricane Irene, she took care of that one. Thanks a lot, Irene. So I got to fix that in a little bit. But, you know, per usual, we got the swinging lanterns. This one being solar, I just picked up on clearance at Target or something like that. Um, and a bunch of, you know, just decor-wise, some very affordable IKEA stuff, which, you know, is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of funky and, and functional. Funk with occasional. A couple of just random pieces of art I found at Tag Sales. You know, this Aztec little woven thing here and whatnot. Uh, the floor is actually a piece of Luan, Luan if you want to call it that, serving as kind of like a desk blotter or a bib for the real plywood beneath. Luan sheets, Luan cost about 10 bucks a pop. Uh, the great thing about this stuff, if it warps, if it's ruined, if it's gouged after a while, just lift up the end of the roofing, slide the piece on out, slide a new piece in, and it protects the, fly, uh, the plywood beneath. Now, of course, if you want to go crazy, you can put in real tongue and groove flooring, uh, you know, if you wanted to go birch, pine, cedar, whatever, cedar and pine probably being the cheapest, you could put real flooring down and that would last a long, 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 long time. But just to try it out, I went with the Luan flooring and so far it has worked rather well. Price-wise, ain't going to complain either. Now space-wise, as I get even more comfortable, <laughs> next shot I'll be sound asleep. <sighs> Sleep on the job. Um, it's more spacious in here being a mere 4x8 than you would imagine. You can't stand in here, but if you configure the plywood in a different manner, you could build a version, same same exact design, uh, where you could make it 8 feet tall, or however many feet tall you want it to be, if you want to have a new bowl over for a visit. 
But uh, if you want to widen this so it would more comfortably sleep two people, perhaps you could squeeze two in here fairly easily right now. But as we did with the UB30 treehouse, that's another video up in Vermont. We shot a treehouse I built for my brother for his 30th birthday. Uh, you can simply, you know, add on another piece of plywood and connect it to the floor bracing system beneath and use the same wall configuration. Extend these purlins, the uh, roofing supports here, uh, you know, accordingly to stretch from one side to the other. And you have yourself a wider cabin being more versatile in use and just simply larger to put it on profoundly. So you really can tweak this cabin in many ways easily, and that's kind of the beauty of it. It's really simple, and half the designs I come up with, that is the goal in mind. So here's another shot from another Vantage, just to show you that this cabin, again, is more quote-unquote spacious than you might think it to be. And again, the 3D-esque shot, the zit close-up. As for the door, again, the students in uh, my RelaxShacks.com workshop put this together. It's uh, it's just a plywood cutout from the 4x8 sheet of plywood. Each wall is just a 4x8 sheet of plywood, half inch, three quarters inch thick. Three quarters inch is usually the way you want to go. Uh, you simply cut out the door, save the piece, hinge it in, and add windows if you want. In this case, we put in a little uh, bowl I found at a dollar store. And the students in the workshop came up with the wine bottle. I cut wine bottles of tile saw a lot to use them as mosaic pieces or micro windows and cabins, but they thought to use one as the actual, you know, quote unquote doorknob for this cabin, which I thought was kind of cool, and I kept it. I really liked it. They put in some screening. We had some leftover radiator screening I found. Same with the uh, Irene busted window, and uh, they did a really good job overall and had a, had a blast doing it. And uh, the Crunk Bunk, if you've seen that video on Make Magazine, that's the other project we built in the workshop. Like I said, we have more workshops uh, coming up, so keep checking that site as they come in for the kill. And that about wraps up the tour. And I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids and those kids over there who are so loud. They shall be dealt with. I'm Derek Diedrichson. Thank you guys for joining me once again. RelaxShacks.com for more info. We'll have many more videos on the way. Check out some of our old ones as well. And we'll see you next time. Take care. As for those kids. kids.